All right, do you have an idea what this guy is really doing? It's time to play along with a YouTube game show. What is it really? Zoomed in picks, your guesses, and the leaderboard now on what is it really? Take a look at our first picture. What is this really a photo of? Do you have a guess? Let's see what my players think. Aaron guesses it's a fire alarm. Andrew guesses it's a fire alarm box. Ashley Vincent, fire alarm. Chris guesses a fire alarm. Diane, I believe it's a fire alarm handle. Heather M. McKee Trask, fire alarm. Jason York, fire alarm. I don't know anyone who's actually pulled one. Jay City Picks, don't pull it, manual fire alarm. Joe, oops, forgot it was Tuesday and I was actually working all day. Have to go with the crowd, old style fire alarm pull handle. Maggie Gang guesses one of those fire alarm thingies. Marianne, fire alarm pull. Michael, fire alarm pull lever. Michael Sean Flaherty, I think this works. Oh, and he's got a close up picture of the Cape May Fire Company here in New Jersey. Mike guesses a fire alarm. Nicole guesses a fire alarm. Oilers John guesses a fire alarm pull station. Rock Guitar, fire alarm. And Trina Henry also guesses a fire alarm handle. Well, what is it really? Oh yeah, they all figured it out. It's a fire alarm. And a lot of people got extra specific on this one. And that means it's time to dish out some bonus points on the leaderboard. So Andrew's up first on the leaderboard with a point. Ashley goes on the board with one. Chris goes on the board with one. Diane got specific, scores the bonus, and goes to two points. Heather goes on the board with one. Jason gets the bonus and goes to two. Jay City Pick scores a bonus and goes to two. Joe Nolfi scores a bonus and goes to two. Mega Gang is on the board with one. Marianne scores a bonus and gets two points. Michael gets that bonus for two points. The other Michael only scores one. Mike Piro won. Nicole won. Oilers John runs a bonus though for two points. Rock Guitar one point. And Trina Henry also scores a bonus for two points. Lots of names on leaderboard already, but plenty of game left, so it is good. Oh, there he is. He's back again. Have you figured out what he's really doing? Well, Heather guesses a poster boy for birth control. Dave, wilderness veteranian Richard Spenletter performing open heart surgery on a trout. While his skills are excellent, he is also easily nauseated and cannot look directly at the fish innards while performing the surgery. So he has his best friend, and maybe soulmate, perform a sock puppet adaptation of The Tempest to keep his mind off the urge to throw up. You can see the reflection of the friend and puppet show in his eyes if you have one of those CSI zoom and enhance features. Highly impressive that he has a 98% success rate all while performing the surgeries completely by I touch. Give me a minute here, I gotta take a rest after reading that story. Palmas Yankees guesses some hipster in Portland. Heather guesses a man in a rowboat on a lake. Jason, man sitting in the bow of a wooden rowboat. Perhaps his lover is going to row him around the pond. Joe, could it be as simple as a man in a rowboat? Final answer. Rock guitar, life in a rowboat. Scooters McGavin, dude in a rowboat. So what is it really? Ooh, there you are. It's a guy in a canoe or a rowboat. I will accept either answer because it caused all kind of controversy as to what paddle he was using, what kind of boat he's in. So it's either a rowboat or a canoe because the person who took the photo said one thing, researchers went online, I found out, said another. So you're getting the points either way, so let's put them on the board. So Heather got it right and goes to two points. Jason got it right and goes to three points. Joe also got it right and goes to three points. Rock for Guitar goes to two points and Scooters McGavin goes on the board earning one point. Let's get away from this picture because this thing was a complete pain in the ass. But it's my own fault, I'm the one that picked it. More fun though with our next picture. Ah, uh, that's more like it. Non-controversial this time. Got a guess yet? What is it really? Donna guesses from the band Zebra. Etenny Bland, is it a lightning bolt pattern? True New Yorker, Zenith TV. Yvonne Lynn Moody, she also guesses a Zenith television. Aaron says it's a Zenith logo. Chris guesses a Zenith product. Heather M. McKee Trask, Zenith logo. Jason, Zenith electronics logo. Joe, yeah, an old Zenith Z logo. J. Russ and 22, that's a Zenith logo. And Nicole guesses an old Zenith logo. Well, what is it really? Ooh, it's not a Zenith television, but it is the Zenith logo on my old alarm clock. It's non-functional anymore, so I had to throw it away. So I figured, hey, we'll put on this game before I toss it. Well, let's toss some names on the leaderboard. So Aaron got it right and scores a point. Chris goes to two points. Heather McKee Trash, she goes to three points. Jason goes all the way to four. Joe goes all the way to four. Joe Russin goes on the board with one. And Nicole on the board with two points. Three pictures down, two more to go. This leaderboard though, hmm, lots of chances for somebody to walk away a winner. And as promised, here's that fourth pick. This is a tough one this time. What do you think this really is? Well, Starman guesses it's a pinball machine. 
Joe guesses DraftKings Poker Display. And Jay York guesses it's a video poker machine. That's all the guesses we got because this one is hard. It was actually a slot machine. Not a video poker machine, a slot machine. There is a big difference. Nobody got it right. Nothing new on the leaderboard. Stays the same. There they are. Had to make this one tough. Well, let's see what happens with our final picture. And there it is, our final picture. Figure it out yet? Oilers John guesses his carrot top stuffed in a trash can. Creative Courtney thinks the yabba dabba doo whistle at the Mr. Slate Squarry. Nice. Andy guesses smokestack on a boat. Heather and McKee trashed. Steam engine train with a smokestack. Chug chug. Choo choo. Jason guesses smokestack on a train. Joe guesses sure does look like a locomotive smokestack. Joe, he guesses the smokestack of a choo-choo train. Michael, choo-choo. And Scrooge McGavin also guesses smokestack on a train. Well, what is it really? Yeah, there you go. It is the smokestack on a locomotive. Clearly not an Amtrak-type locomotive, but a locomotive nonetheless. Somebody's getting some points on the leaderboard, so let's see who's going to win. So Heather closes out this game with four big points. Jason got it right and goes all the way to five. Joe also got it right and goes all the way to five. The other Joe, he goes to two points. Michael goes on the board with three points. And Scrooge McGavin goes to two points. So who's going to walk away winner? Nobody, because it's a tie. Once again, between Jason York and Joe Nolte, both with five points apiece. And that's it for this edition of What Is It Really? So no definitive winner this time. That means our final leaderboard stays exactly the same. There it is. Heather won, Jason four, Joe still on top with six complete games won. Luke won, Rocket Vitar, and Warlock Weirdo all with one complete win. And if you want to score big, every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern, I drop these pictures on my Jersey Joe 50 Twitter and Instagram feed. You can play along. Just tell me what do you think it really is, and maybe you can top the leaderboard and walk away winner. You also walk away winner when you click the like or subscribe button down below for all the fun here on the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel. Four big shows waiting for you each and every week. Jersey Joe, your internet friend, that's me, and your game master saying thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and I'll see you next time I hope.